welcome the fifth speaker. The fifth speaker is Mr. Naoto Fukazawa from Aoyama Gakuin University. He chose B. If you couldn't see, couldn't hear, and couldn't speak, what would you do? So, Mr. Fukazawa, please come up to the stage. Thank you, Mr. Osayoni, and honorable judges. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So, I choose number B. If I couldn't, hear, I, I couldn't see, could he, I couldn't hear, couldn't speak, what I, sh what I should do. If I am in the same situation, I, I confuse because I can do not, I can do not do, some, do, do something. I can do. So, if I have some situation, but uh, please hear my idea of my mouth. So, let me explain about it. So, if I have same situation, that to say, uh, three senses are prohibited in the in the five senses. I, I, and ear and mouth are prohibited to use. But in this case. I can talk to someone, someone, and, and someone who are around you. That's to say, uh, there is a tough sense uh, for you. So, I would like to talk about how to touch and communicate with the people who are around you. Don't you think in this situation, everyone cannot communicate with the people who are around you? But the answer is no. Sure, the eye and the mouth and ear are prohibited. Uh, uh, so, everyone couldn't communicate everyone think. But my, my answer is, uh, in this situation, we can touch, so, we can do a handshake and we can use the sign language. So, if I was in the same situation, I would like to try to her to practice the sign language and to talk to someone. So, uh, all I want to say is the most important thing is to seek for uh, the best solution for your great future if you are in any, any situation. That's my whole speech, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kukazawa. Now, it is a touching time. 